Good afternoon. This is the video for the presses of my op-ed and uh, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. So my argument for this assignment is going to be that self-defense should be taught as a part of physical education curriculum in middle and high school gym classes. The uh, two premises for this argument are that self-defense increases a person's chances of escaping or avoiding harm and has many mental and physical benefits. So to start off with the first premise, uh, self-defense teaches a person tactics and strategies that can be used to defend oneself against someone who is trying to harm them. So self-defense skills are both physical and mental. Uh, the physical skills include learning defensive moves that are designed to get a person off and away from you. So basically, um, it's teaching you like specific parts of the body to target when you're trying to defend yourself from a person and different kind of physical strategies you can use to get them to leave you alone or go away. Um, and yeah, then there are also some mental strategies that are taught along with these physical strategies. So these mental strategies include learning to spot and avoid a dangerous situation before kind of getting into it, being able to see it and leave before coming up against it. Um, learning to talk yourself out of a dangerous situation. So, so sort of learning like some negotiation tactics and some things that you can say to kind of talk your way out of a situation if you weren't able to avoid it. And then finally, to just flee the situation. So if you're unable to spot it ahead of time and avoid it, if you're unable to talk yourself out of it, then um, knowing a good time to just kind of leave, run away, get out of there is something that is taught in self-defense. So all of these skills, when they are practiced, can become muscle memory and help an individual prevent being harmed. So there have been numerous studies that have looked in and kind of questioned whether or not self-defense actually works when it is used. And almost every single study that has aimed to determine this has found that self-defense does help a person avoid harm and get away. There are um, plenty of statistics that show that knowing self-defense can decrease a person's chances of injury or harm when they are attacked. Um, yeah, so then moving on, there are, moving on to the second premise, uh, that knowing self-defense has many mental and physical benefits. So the physical benefits kind of first off, um, self-defense is a very physical thing. So when you are doing self-defense consistently, like going to classes, then it makes it so that you are very fit. Um, so that's kind of like a physical bonus for it. Um, the mental benefits of learning self-defense include having an increased confidence in oneself, reduce, it can reduce depression and anxiety, and then it also strengthens one's awareness of what is going on around them. And then these mental benefits have been seen in almost every person who has ever taken a self-defense class or who has learned self-defense. And these mental benefits wouldn't just be important to have when a person is actively using self-defense, but they could also be used in other areas of their lives. So not only would they have increased confidence when they're using self-defense, but they could also have increased confidence in their school, at work, or in their home lives. It could also be a solution for depression and anxiety, something that can be fairly common in middle and high school students. So um, having something like self-defense be a solution for that depression and anxiety would be a very good thing. And then having an awareness of what's happening around you is also something that is very important. Uh, not only can it help you save your life if you are put in a situation where you need it, but it could even stop you from like tripping over a rock when you're walking or stepping off of a curb or running into someone. So then being able to avoid harm and experiencing the mental benefits that come with learning self-defense would be incredibly valuable to middle and high school students. Any person has a chance of being targeted in a violent attack, but that middle school age is when they would be able to start learning some of the physical moves that could save their lives. You can teach self-defense to younger kids, but sadly, a very small child might not be able to use some of them against, say, an adult who might be trying to hurt them. Um, some of these mental strategies, however, could be beneficial to even younger children, such as toddler or elementary students. Um, as stated before, many middle and high school students may have depression or anxiety, so having a way to deal with that and boost that confidence would be a very positive thing. So then kind of moving on from the premises in my argument, um, the argumentative strategy that I'm using is an inductive one. So the two premises, self-defense increasing a person's chances of escaping and avoiding harm and self-defense having many mental and physical benefits are known to be true. And it is because both of these premises are true that the conclusion that self-defense should be taught as a part of physical education curriculum in middle and high school gym classes is true. So I've just kind of drawn it out right here. So we have the first premise right here, which we know to be true, and the second premise right here, which we know to be true, and both prove the conclusion, um, the argument that I'm making. And that is how that works. So that is my two premises. That is my argument. And then a little bit of background on why the, those two premises are true and why they prove the argument.